In this video tutorial, we're going to demonstrate how to add an assignment to your Blackboard course. Assignments are a great alternative to receiving student works via, let's say, email attachments or uh, receiving printed out essays and uh, documents. Um, it's quite common that uh, instructors would say give out a piece of a homework assignment or give out a uh, an essay assignment and receive a paper copy back or receive emails from the students with uh, word documents or other documents attached to that email and that can be a bit difficult to manage it also isn't really integrated with the online environment and it's not integrated in with your gradebook very well uh, so using uh, the Blackboard Learning Management System, you're able to add a way for students to submit their work electronically to you, and it will automatically add it into the gradebook and allow you an easy process for viewing what they've submitted and uh, submitting their grade and feedback back to them. So we're going to demonstrate that. Uh, let's start off by going into one of your online courses, and we're just for this demonstration we're going to go to the assignments area um, if you want you can add an assignment anywhere in your course another content area if I wanted to put it under course documents that would be fine too once we're in an assignments area hit the edit view in the upper right hand corner and that will turn on your your editing bar so you get your items and folders options and you'll notice just a little bit over here to the right there's a drop down menu from that menu select assignment and then click on the go button. Next we're just going to fill out a little bit of information about the assignment. So I'm going to call this essay 1 and it's worth 100 points and we'll set the due date as March 30th due by the end of the month and then I can give them some instructions. So write a two-page essay on globalism may impact your Write a two-page essay on how globalism may impact your job search upon graduating from CPCC. I can scroll down a little bit and I can attach files. So this is an opportunity where I could attach, say, um, here, watch if I click browse, uh, we can attach a, a file to maybe supplement uh, what we're asking the students to do. So I could always attach, let's say I have some demo files, let's attach this document and we'll say for example click here for an example essay that I really liked from a prior class. So maybe you give them an example of an essay that's made an A in the class so that they understand clearly what it is that they're supposed to do. Perhaps you browse and attach a style guide. Perhaps you uh, attach a video that they can watch or a PowerPoint presentation that they can watch on the topic or assignment that you're asking them to complete. You'll then under area three you'll choose to make the assignment available or not available. You'll choose whether or not you're going to track the views and you can choose some date restrictions if you don't want it to display until after a certain date or until a certain date. And then you click on Submit. You'll get a confirmation screen, click on OK, and you'll see where it's been added. There's the title, there's my instructions, and view or complete, view slash complete, view or complete, assignment essay one. This is similar to what a student will see. I can modify this at any time. So if I have a typo or want to change the number or the scoring or the dates of availability, you can do that. I can also attach an additional document. So I could have two or three uh, attached files if I wanted. Make modifications. 
Uh, once this is done, if you go to your control panel and then look at your grade book, you'll notice that SA1 is an assignment and has automatically been added to the grade book. Now in this class, this is just a demonstration, I've added myself under another account as a student into this course. And I can tell looking here at this blank that Adam has not submitted his paper yet. So I'm going to pull up and this right here is Adam logged in as a student in the course. So Adam the student, I'm seeing this exactly as a student would, would click on assignments. See that they have an essay to write. Can view the full details by clicking again, I'll show you that again, click on the title. You can see the name, the instructions the, instru the uh, professor wrote for me. Uh, any assignment related files have been attached to it. And I can then type in some comments. I was up all night and I hope that you like the paper. And then they have the option to attach a local file, attach a file. So they would browse and let's just say for the sake of it, here we go, we've, we've done a PowerPoint presentation. And I can attach in another file if I wanted to by clicking on this button. And that actually attached the PowerPoint and allows me to browse again. And I could grab the Word document. And if I needed to add a third file, I could click that again and do that. Then they get options to cancel, which would be to abandon what they've done so far, to save what they've done so far, and that allows them to save it and then come back and work on it some more later, or click Submit to turn that in to the professor for grading. They click on Submit, and that has been received. Now, I am the instructor. If I come out, control panel, and go back to my grade book, I can now see that Adam Brooks has an exclamation mark. That means that he submitted and it has not been graded yet. I click on the exclamation mark. I can see when he submitted. I can click here to view. Or if he made a mistake and wants to resubmit, I can clear his attempt and that would clear it out and let him submit again. I can view what he submitted. This is what I've asked him to do. My comments, my instructions, my attached file. This is what he submitted to me along with his comments. I can click on the document and open this up in Word. All right, so here I'm viewing the document in Word that he submitted to me. I could even choose to do some some markup and you know make some corrections or whatever, make some notes if I wanted to. Um, if you wanted to do that, save a copy of this to the desktop, so we'll, we could do that. And uh, I could attach that as, as the modified version. I'm not going to do that this time. but So I've looked at his paper, and uh, I know what he submitted to me. And so out of 100 points, he's going to get 90. And I could say, good job. Be sure to uh, cite your work next time and then I could actually attach remember I mentioned about making uh, edits and, and save a copy so if I open that word document up and made a bunch of changes and corrections I could save that I could then browse and attach the modified version of his file here I can type internal notes these are ones that only I would see that the students do not see and I could attach a file there and submit and that's been updated. So now the student, when they go, I'll uh, pull back up the student account. The student wants to know what they've received. They can come back. They can click uh, on their own assignment and view what they've submitted. Here's what they asked. Here's what they submitted. And here's the grade and the feedback that the instructors provided. They can also get to it through their grade view under course tools and then my grades. And here they can see what they've got. And they can view the same way there.